Welcome to the second approach in detecting influential data in Stata, and that is the DF beta approach. <clears throat> this approach is about the effect of each uh, outlier or influential value on each of the X variable, in particular on the coefficients of the X variables. The effects on the regression coefficient um, has an impact when a particular observation is excluded or included and there's a dramatic change in the, in the result, in the coefficient size. So a positive d beta value will increase the coefficient while a negative value will decrease it, All right? So we use a cutoff value of two to determine whether a value is uh, influential or not on the coefficient. So any value greater than two, then we say that value has influential, that observation has influential uh, effect on the X variables. <clears throat> Instead that we can uh, follow these steps to run to check whether we have uh, influential observations or not. First, we run an OLS model, and then we continue in this example with the automobile data set. Then we will calculate the DA beta for each of the X variables, and then we can just graph or we can list to see what we have. And if some of the values are greater than two, we can um, re remove the outliers or the influential uh, data in order to have a correct model. Let's do that in Stata now. So as always, I start with my do file. So here we want to determine uh, influential observation using um, the dear beta approach. All right. So I will load the data set and run my full model, then I can start the analysis. So now I will want to check for the dear beta for all my um, x variable. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, there are four observations uh, variables. So then I can just say all of them, or if they are more than four, and I want to check for a particular uh, independent variables, then I can list them. <clears throat> but if I run this, it will produce for all. If I also run this, it's still for all, because I have not left out any. So let me run this for all of them. Yes. Then you will see that a new set of variables will be created under the last year. So you see the first one, which is a D a beta one underscore one, we have for MPG, and the last one four is for length. Okay, then we will now uh, just graph to see the values, how large are the values. Yeah, you can see uh, the green one seem to be the one with the influential, um, and that is for a weight. So as you can see, but um, they are all below two. So we cannot say that any of these values is significant or is influential. Next, we will um, list them just to see what are the value for each. We list in terms of make. So for each of the respondents, we will see the effect the value has on each of the X variables. So here you see for Concord will have these values, the effect which are lower than uh, two. All these are lower than two. This uh, make is having a high as 1.2, but still lower than Two. So all these values, as before, using the, the, the previous method, which is the Cook distance, we don't see any of these observations to be uh, influential. From one to seven to four, none of them is influential. So this is how we test for influential observation using uh, the beta approach. 
In the next video, we'll consider the leverage approach, which is the last one we use to determine influential observations.